Brecken flooring is designed to be installed as a floating floor with a click join and its own integral underlay. Additional underlay should not be used. As for all floating floors, the subfloor needs to be sound, dry and flat. Any weaknesses, moisture or irregularities in the subfloor need to be attended to before installation. The relative humidity shouldn't exceed 70% for cement based concrete or 11% wood moisture for wooden subfloors or joists. The floor should be level to within 3 mil over 2 meters. Draw an additional line marked 45mm to one side of the centre line. This is the setting line for the main V pattern. Lay the plank so that the corner is laid directly on the setting outline. The herringbone planks consist of left hand and right hand staves which is supplied in equal quantities in each pack. These are best separated into respective piles for ease of laying. Starting close to the back of the room, assemble a full width strip of flooring, four planks deep. The basic laying procedure involves the laying of planks from side to side across the room. First the left hand staves, then the right hand staves. Working from left to right, take a fixed measurement and mark out the outline of the wall at regular intervals on the floor. Connect the marked points to replicate the contour of the wall. Remember to measure the detail around any door frames and architraves. Cut the line using a mini plunge saw or multi-tool and remove the cut pieces. Slide the floor into position, aligning the V pattern to the setting outline. For ease of laying, it is best practice to fit the edge pieces as you lay each row. Measure the lengths and angles required. The mineral resin composite core allows simple cuts to be performed by scoring the surface. It is important that your knife is sharp so it penetrates the top layer first time. This will avoid having to score the surface multiple times. Slop the cut plank into position, then continue to lay the next row of planks and repeat the process again. In some instances, a plank may be difficult to lay with the click joint. It may be necessary to cut away part of the click joint. Simply remove the tongue with a knife. Where the click joint has been removed, use a quick setting adhesive to bond the cut edge to the adjacent plank.
When measuring a plank to fit around a door frame or architrave, place the plank directly on the plank nearest to the door frame or architrave. Then measure the distance from the plank edge to the object you are cutting round. Transfer these measurements to the plank. Once you have marked out all your measurements, then trace out the object and cut it from the plank. Brecken planks can be cut using a standard wood saw. If you are cutting complex cuts then a jigsaw or coping saw might be more applicable. Once cut, the plank can be slotted into place. The stability of the product within normal room temperatures means that minimal expansion gaps are often possible.